When it comes to saving money, kids may turn up their noses because, of course, they want to spend it. I can relate to that, right? But when you create and use your own painted animal bank, saving money can be fun. Kids of all ages will enjoy painting cheerful animals and turning them into banks. And Amy Lana is back for getting crafty. Adorable idea. What do we need? So the first thing that you're going to need is the animal of your choice. So I have little cows here. I have this medium-sized piggy bank, of course, you know, and these banks come in other shapes and sizes as well. And you're going to find these at your local DIY Pro Studio. So mm -hmm. these are the paint your own pottery type shops yes. like Color Me Mine right here in Harrisburg. Yes. There's some in York, Lancaster, Hanover. Um, and if you go to DIYProStudios.com, you can find the store nearest oh, you. Oh, isn't that neat? Okay. Yeah. So, and this is good. We just purchased just the item. Exactly. Right? So, I mean, of course you can go, you can paint this in the studio, have it glazed and fired, mm -hmm. but it can also be fun to make this a take home project. Yeah, for sure. So you go, you choose whichever banks you like best, buy them and bring them home, and then you can personalize them with any colors of acrylic or multi-surface paint that you like. Okay. So your first step is just to give it a base coat. So you've got a piggy, you okay. picked a pig there, okay. and you've got a some colors. Coat. I've got a cow. Gosh, a base coat. That's going <laughs> to take a long time. <laughs> we don't have time. Well, you're probably not going to finish during this segment, but no. you can take it but, home well, and see, Tommy and the Clara point, can help kind of, you. You can take it home. Right, exactly. So one option that you have is to give it a solid coat, like the pink pig here, or, you know, um, my son Noah made this one. He made it turquoise. Uh, his friend Ev made this one, and she actually painted it white and then put the black spots on top. Yeah. But another option is, like my green and white piggy bank here, I didn't actually paint the whole thing, Amy. I cheated. So I left oh. the bisque plain where I wanted it to be white. And you can see it looks a little bit more like a cream color once it's all done. It does. But you have that color, and then you can just add the details if you like. So for this cow, I'm just going to paint his spots rather than his actual body. Oh, that's a good idea. So you do your base coat or not, and then you're going to add your details. So How you can thick should see. I be making this? Because I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of cheap when it comes to paint. Like I find myself, <laughs> I guess not cheap, stingy. Like do, should I be really layering it on or putting just enough? You know, when you're painting, less is always more. Do oh, thin, even okay. coats. And then oh. if you look at it and you want more coverage, you just go back when it's dry and give a second coat. Okay. There you and go. that's the better way because then it doesn't get gloppy. Yes. Okay, so that's what I'm going for. Yeah, exactly. You're doing a beautiful job. Well, thanks. Of honey. course, we picked the day you wore a white skirt. But <laughs> oh, that's okay. I'll take one for the team. So you're just going to add in whatever details you like. The spots, the eyes, the nose. Uh, you can see for my little piggy here, I did his tail. <laughs> I put a little spiral on his tail. And then, of course, you know that hand lettering is my thing. Of course. So you can letter on these as well. You can use a paint marker or a permanent marker. I lettered this to be my Starbucks fun because I can't live without my iced yes. coffee. I'm just following those same hand lettering techniques that we talk about a lot here on this show. So you can literally paint these any way you like. You can stick to traditional pink pigs and black and white cows or you can use any and all colors of the rainbow to personalize them any way that you like. You know, I'll tell you, I see where we're going here with the kids because I'm more likely to put money in here now that I have a cute little bank to right? put it into myself. Sure. What a super idea. Tell us about your website and where we can find some more crafting ideas and also lots of information about that hand lettering that you sure. mentioned. Sure, absolutely. Uh, one thing I do want to mention first though, Amy, is after you're done painting, you're going to want to protect this guy. Oh yes, yes, So yes. we're going to seal it with Mod Podge and you can use any kind you want. You can use glossy to make it shine. You can use sparkle for my right. piggy here. Yes. I used glitter. Um, so you can just paint an, a thin, even coat again, and that's going to seal it and protect it so that it's ready to use. Let it sit for about how long? Um, once the Mod Podge is dry, it's ready to use. Fantastic. Yep. Fantastic. So okay. you can find this at amylattacreations.com. All the details, and remember, DIYProStudios.com is where you want to go to find your local store so that you can pick up your bank. Great idea. A lot of fun. Thanks, Amy. It's always fun with you. We'll be right back.